Hey party people, welcome back to Beauty by Shelly B. Today we're going to do a makeup tutorial that is mermaid inspired. I love mermaids. I feel like I should be one and, well a pretty one, <laughs> not a manatee one. And so today we're going to do a makeup tutorial with like turquoises, blues, purples, you know, mermaid type of colors or what we think to be mermaid type of colors. I'm representing mermaid, it says on duty at the bottom. Um, I am not wearing leggings, but I do have mermaid fish scale leggings I got from Disneyland, so I am totally into it. First I'm going to apply some primer because our mermaid skin is going to be so flawless nobody is going to ever know what hit them. So I'm just using my Angel Veil and I put my primer mostly um, here because I have a lot of large pores and I feel like it helps um, minimize them. Next I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and my normal foundation. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Cool Bone. But I just take a little bit and put it focusing again mainly on the middle of my face because I feel like that's where I'm mostly um, red or the pigment is weird. I definitely get it under my eyes and on top of my eyes just to help color correct and by the way I have the fan on because it's so hot it's not even my lights it's just hot today so sorry then I'm going to use my Revlon color stay in 120 I no 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 110 ivory under my eyes just a teensy bit to help brighten I feel like um, the reason why I'm using foundation is because I feel like concealer doesn't work for me. So what am I left with? Foundation. I mean, I don't know. It's just a new thing I'm trying. It's worked okay so far. I still crease, but I crease with everything. So we're just trying it out. I also want it to help brighten up my, my, my T-zone area a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and put it under my eyes to set that Color Stay foundation. I put it on very liberally, as you can see. Then I'm going to take a little teensy bish, bish, bit on this brush to set the rest of my face. I feel like I need powder. I think it's because I used to be oily like my whole life and it's not until just recently I'm not oily anymore. I'm pretty much normal skin so I have that powder in on the brain. But anyway, there's that. So now while that's setting under my eyes I'm thinking about what to contour with because we want it mermaidy. Or maybe we or maybe this should be like a mermaid off duty so like mermaid essence but like not hardcore mermaid yeah maybe I'll do that like maybe I'm like a mermaid on land like in disguise okay I think that's a really cool idea so that means I'm gonna contour pretty much the same I think I'm gonna use this L'Oreal infallible pro contour this is light or something yeah light contour a little teensy bit here and here obviously that wasn't the right brush to use I don't think now I'm going to take a little bit of this golden bronzer by elf and oh, I dropped my brush and get a little bit and I'm going to put in that contour to you know kind of fix it put on my neck because my neck is a different color than my body and my face with makeup on and then put it up here to contour a little bit of my forehead and warm it up because if I was a mermaid I probably would be in the sun being super bronzed all day you know I hope that would be like the 
said, wouldn't that be like the best thing to do if you're a mermaid? It's just the way out all day. Because probably if you're a mermaid, you wouldn't get sunburned like us humans. So anyway, I think, I think it's fine. All right, it's a little bit shimmery too, which I like. I think that's gonna help with the um, mermaid glow. Next, I'm gonna put on my eyelids this Bare Minerals five, Minerals Five in One BB Cream Eyeshadow, whatever it's called, for a base. I don't know if I've used this before. If I have, I don't remember. That's a nice color corrector, so I might use that next time. That's nice. Okay, so I have a few ColourPop. Excuse you, Bobby. Few ColourPop eyeshadows that I pulled out. Um, number one that I want to use is called Flower Shop because let me show you. I haven't used it yet, but look at that like metallic. It's called a pearlized, but like I think that's a th the epitome of a mermaid is that color. Um, also, I have ColourPop's Mermaid Kiss, which I felt like, you know, the name says it all. I should probably use that somewhere. And I have a few other ones, like Chipper, Snapdragon, that's, I don't think they have that anymore, and then Ibiza. So maybe some of those, but I think for sure we're going to go with these two, Flower Shop and Mermaid Kiss. I think... I think I'm going to do flower shop all over the lid. Let's try that. I just feel like it's the perfect mermaid color. Like, come on. Yeah, that's like the perfect mermaid. I'm a mermaid now. I've transformed. I need a blendy brush. This one seriously shouldn't have been called flower shop. It should have been called like mermaid scales. And then the other eye. Sorry if you can't see. It's the same process. I don't want to use two fingers because then I get two fingers dirty. Looking good, looking good. That almost is good just as a one color eye, like almost. I feel like I still need a little bit of definition somewhere, but like almost. I, I always try to do a one shadow eye look and I never can do it. I always feel like I need a little bit more definition right here. Um, I don't know, what do you think? What do you do? I have the perfect highlighter from Bitter Lace Beauty. You know, the ones that did the rainbow, that blue, and then the purple, and then this purple, I feel like, would be really good highlighter. So I'm thinking I'm going to use that. And from Makeup Geek, I think I'm going to use this one. What is this called? Nautica. It's like broken a little. It's this one, Nautica. I think that's what I'm gonna use to deepen that crease. Because we're a glam mermaid, we have to deepen the crease because you know she loves makeup under the sea too. I wonder if it was if mermaids were real, which they could be because we haven't discovered like 90% of the ocean is undiscovered, something like that, 90 or 95%. So who knows, mermaids could be real, they're probably really ugly, but who even knows? Anyway, what if, because they wouldn't be able to do like powder makeup, what would they use under the ocean as makeup? Would it just be like built into their body, like already born with makeup on? Or would they just not have anything? Probably nothing, because humans aren't born with makeup either, right? I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> Philosophical thoughts with Shelly. So anyway, I did that. Now, I still want to use Mermaid Kiss. That could be like a nice inner corner thing. If this is a really old Coastal Sense brush. I'm going to use that. Ooh, this is really sparkly too. I'm going to put that... Oh, let me wipe off my powder first. <gasps> I just gouged out Mermaid's Kiss with the cat. I just pat it off with my beauty blender. What do you guys do? I feel like brushes wipe everything off, but I feel like if I pat it with my beauty blender, because it's still a little bit damp, it works pretty good. Mostly focusing on the inner corner to like help brighten. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so cool. I don't know if you can even see it. 
I'm gonna try to bright to darken it up. Hold on. It's not like the brightest, but it looks really cool in person. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. All I can all I can see is the little monitor, the little viewfinder. So we'll see in my picture at the end, I guess. But I really like this, so let me do the other one. Oh uh, yeah, this looks so good, you guys. This looks so cool, you guys. Already. Should I use that pink I didn't use? Yeah, I'm going to use um, Slave to Pink. Maybe I'll use a little bit of a base, too. Also, it's by uh, Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I couldn't think. That's called Simply Marlena. I'm going to use that a little bit because maybe I don't want it to be too bright. Maybe I want it to be like this. You know what? I think so. I think so. So I'm not going to Never mind. No, no more Slave to Pink. I'll use it next time, or another time, but I like this, actually. I'm going to bring it all the way to the, whatever that's called, the inner corner color. This is just a little elf brush, so that's not, like, a big deal. <gasps> I forgot I have a ColourPop liner. I should use that first. Yeah, I'm going to use this. Hold on. That's better. And now I'm going to go back on top of that with Simply Marlena. I'm actually going to use a different brush now. I'm going to use this little detail brush by Scone. It's called a smudge, a smudger brush. <gasps> Is that a yellow on it? I thought I wiped this guy off. Oh no, I'm seeing things. I'm gonna use a Simply Marlena again and put it on top of that ColourPop liner. Because, um, why not? Also, I think I'm gonna deepen the inner corner part maybe with like a dark purple. So, hold your horses on that one. If you think this is crazy looking, we're not done yet, okay? I think just because I have it here. Oh no, I'm gonna use this foil one. Also by Makeup Geek. Maybe that dark one. What is I don't remember what that one's called. Let's see. Caitlin Rose. I'm gonna use Caitlin Rose, that darker purple, and see what that looks like at the the whatever outer corner. Can you even see it? Oh yeah, you can. Okay, cool. And I would have used a purple liner, but I don't think I have one. Not yet, at least. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. Don't mind me, I have like powder all in my eyes. I need, okay, I need an eyeliner. Do I want it super definer or do I want it super bright in my eyes? What do you think? Again, I'm going to use Boosty I, I use this in my last tutorial, my rainbow makeup, but I really like it because it's not black, but it's like a nice dark green, and that totally goes with rainbow and mermaids. See that one and that one. That one looks like a more open eye, but that one looks like a super glam eye, so I'm going to go glam. Glam it up. Glam, glam, glam it up. There, I'm going to tight line a little. How I tight line, I put it like at the tight line and I close my eye and like run it along it. That's what I do. That's easy. And then I'm done. Nothing about holding up my eye line, eyelid. That's too much for me, okay? I can't be doing that, especially when I have already have perfect makeup on. But you know what? I'm not done with the top of my eyes because I did not do, I did not do um, a brow bone freaking shadow or anything highlight and I think I want to do this blue from Bitter Lace Beauty I forget what that, that's called it's called Curiouser so I'm going to do that Ah oh, yeah buddy though yes that's so pretty you know Bitter Lace Beauty is the best I've been buying stuff for them 
way before. Like, all these are Bitterly's Beauty, and I have one more that I can't fit in. It's over there. <laughs> From Bitterly's Beauty, they do such good stuff, and now they're all only doing the rainbow because she does it all by hand, like small batches, so she doesn't have enough, like, manpower to um, do it all her other ones and and then there's there's a lot there's like nine other ones besides this and the other one because she brought out all these other ones and I never bought them because they sold out <laughs> so you know it's like the struggle is seriously real and yeah being a mermaid is tough so you know what I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna go a little bit gold too um, where's my liner I'm going to do a black liquid liner on the top, and then I'm going to do some gold liquid liner too, I think, because why not? And then I could do gold cheek highlight and lips or something like that, so let's see how that works too. Or I could do gold and I could mix it with my um, Curiouser, so let's see. You know, this is turning into like a legit mermaid, like it's not like she's not under, she's not in disguise anymore, I think they'll know, she, they're going to know that she's a mermaid now. But anyway. So I'm only going to do the like outer half black. Let's see how that looks at least anyway. I mean that's what I always do, but I mean, just, just wait a sec. And then I think I'm going to do a wing of gold, kind of going into the black. So I might wait till that dries a little bit. So I guess we can move on to the rest of the face. I was thinking maybe a purple blush and a, like a gold highlight. So I don't think I've used this e.l.f. purple one. What is it called? Showstopper. So I'm going to try that actually. Oops. That's way too much. Don't do that much on your face. Like, look, I just spread it out. That's way too much. Don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. That's way too much. It's because it wasn't coming out. I was trying to do like a little pump and it wasn't coming out and then all of it came out. So what am I going to do? This might be a little dark, but we're going to just do it. I'm just going to dip it real lightly. Like I got a teensy bit on there and then I'm just going to whoa that's way too much anyway how am i supposed to blend that out oh my god you guys this is a mistake <laughs> this is a mistake oh maybe not maybe i can fix it maybe i can fix it let's take this beauty blender it's so bright oh my god i didn't need to put some something on top of this this is ridiculous okay so that way did not work because it doesn't really blend that great but I do like this color so the colors okay what if I like do my fingers that's way too much still oh my god I look like a clown hold on hold on we gotta freaking fix this this is not <laughs> not okay purple messing me up I look so stupid <laughs> okay where's my foundation come back here oh oh my gosh and I got makeup all over my mermaid shirt this is a mess you guys I feel like wasn't last time a super mess too like I just can't I am just a mess Okay, we're co helping to cover this up a little bit, or a lot, because that is way too much. Need more on, oh my god, this is so bad. Um, I don't think I can use that one unless it's like for freaking a clown. Or I just have to use like 0, 0.0. Okay, that looks okay. So now I need to fix the other side. More. Uh, that was too much foundation, but that's okay. We will make it work. It's covering up everything I did because it was just too bright. But now actually it looks okay. 
I just feel like it's not bright enough now. Maybe I'll like go to my trusty color pop. It's okay, we're gonna salvage it. We're gonna salvage it for real. I really like this color pop one called Rain. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, but it's a purple too. It's a much lighter purple though, so let's see. Okay, that's better, I think. But that other purple is so bright you can still see through the foundation. Ridiculous. This purple is like nothing compared to that other purple. Alright, did I put too much on? Who can say? I need to sip this cough pillow. I need some more bronzer now because I took it all away with that stuff. A little more on the temples. A little. I don't need any more up here, but we're gonna do it. All right. I hope that's a little bit salvaged. If not, whatever. We're just a super glam mermaid, you guys. Remember? We're glam mermaids. Glams. <gasps> Glams. Okay, I'm going to take that gold from Bitter Lace Beauty. What is it called? I don't remember. Sweater Weather. Because it was a fall one from last year, actually. I wonder if this will help tone down that also. Prob not. Prob not, because look at it. It's still a mess. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. I really like this gold one. I can't wait until she's done um, making all those rainbow ones because this gold one you guys need in your life. Actually, I think it was limited edition, but I'm sure she would. She could be able to bring it back. Especially because it's freaking gold, you guys. Aw, oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to put a little bit of that blue too. Because we're a mermaid. This thing, this tutorial is going to take it like our, my whole life. Seriously, because we're having tons of problems. Ooh, I like that blue on my nose. Oh, we got that mermaid glow for real. Okay. I'm really liking it. It's okay. There's a lot of blush going on, but it's okay. We're, we're okay. Eyebrows. I'm just gonna use red. Oh, maybe I could do color. Should I do color eyebrows? Yes, I'm gonna do like a dark green or a dark purple. But which one? Do I have a dark green? <gasps> oh my god, I got it. Okay. I don't know if you guys seen ColourPop's Bay, but it's like a brown with like a blue reflect. Fuck yeah. I mean, excuse me. Yes, we're doing this one. We're doing this one. Okay, I need like a little angly brush. This one's like really stained. It's not dirty, sorry. It looks ugly, but it's not. Oh my god, that's gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna be like, should I base it with my, I'm gonna use a base of my normal one and put this on top because I want it to look like really good. So I'm gonna use my ColourPop Dope Taupe. Just a little bit. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm gonna put Bay on there. Oh, you can't really see a color. I, want, I hope you're going to be able to see a shimmer, though. I really like it, though. Even if you can't see it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put um, Ibiza over top so we get a blue tinge, maybe. We're hoping. Oh yeah, when I look it up close, oh my god, you guys, it's like m so mermaidy. Are you asking yourselves, is she really gonna go outside like this? Heck yeah, we're gonna go outside like this. Oh, sorry, Bubby. I'm yelling too much. She's like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's like a blue tinge. That's cool, you guys. 
I don't know if I, I think I talked about this before. I love color eyebrows. I don't know why. It's so cool though. Okay, we got those. We need to do our gold liner. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly with that yet, but we're just going to try to make it work or see what happens and salvage it if it doesn't work. But I'm really feeling the gold. But I did a gold wing. Oh yeah, you can see it, I think. We're so glowy today. I'm gonna have to fix my black liner because I got gold on it. But I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I just, actually, before I do that, I'm gonna let it dry and put another coat of the gold, and then that's it. But as we're waiting, we're going to use Kylie's Gold Metal Metallic Lipstick. I thought that would be so cool. Do I need... Hmm. I was thinking about maybe I should do like a blue liner underneath. But I feel like we're trying to be undercover and I'm getting crazier and crazier. So Oh my gosh, I love this. It is very gold though. We're definitely not undercover anymore. Not undercover anymore. That's okay. Maybe I could like define it a little bit with like this pink. Posy K, let's see. Maybe I'll wait till it dries a little bit because I'm just moving it around. I'm just waiting for everything to dry. I need a sharpener. Oh yeah, that gold liner is by NYX. I don't think I said that. Also, I feel it. I feel that gold liner drying on my skin. It's like serious. Okay, I'm gonna, I think it's dry. If not, whatever. I'm gonna put a little bit more gold and then I'm gonna fix the black and then that's it for that. And then I'm gonna put on mascara. I think that helped a little bit. It looks a lot better. And then black. This is just from NYX too. It's just their black liquid matte liner. There we go, you guys. I really like that. That's so cool. Okay, now for eyelashes. I've been using this um, Wet n Wild stuff lash primer. Not sure if it really works a lot and I'm not sure it's supposed to like help help your lashes grow healthier too. I don't think I've been using it long enough to notice that but definitely I think it helps lengthen my lashes while this is thickening a little bit so I think it works at least a little bit and even if it's not working to thicken or anything I think that maybe it'll help my lashes grow stronger and longer so maybe there'll be a benefit at the end at least this video is seriously like 40 minutes already okay now for the other eye I'm gonna do the same thing the lash primer and then the mascara. I was gonna put falsies on, but I feel like that's too much. We already have a lot going on. I don't think falsies are necessary. Almost done, you guys. I'm really trying to hurry. Okay, we're done with the eyes and the face and almost the lips. I was gonna try to Oh my gosh, um, I'm going to try to line the outside. I think this is as dry as it's going to get. Is that doing something? 
Okay, I think that is it for this look. This gold, I should have done the lip liner first, but I didn't think about it. I should have done like the gold only in the center or something. Maybe I could still... Nah, I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. So, FYI, the lip is not perfect, but I really like how everything else came together. Um, close up, it's a blue, it's blue on the, the eyebrows, like seriously. And like, the highlight is gold and blue. Like, we're so mermaidy right now, it is like unbelievable. I love it, and I'm repping my shirt, I told you guys, but I freaking love it. I love everything about it. The shirt is gold too, like my lips. So, so yeah, um, that's all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you like this video and you want to see more. And just stay tuned for my next video because it's coming very soon. Bye, guys. But I'm sure you all know that. You guys know this. I'm, who am I talking to? I'm talking to makeup pros. Do I still have that bronzy thing? Where did I put that? So, okay. Pink. Purple. Where did that go? Did I drop it? I wanted that bronzer bronze it up I'm just gonna use a little bit of this oh there it is it was under stuff okay now for thumbnail how am I gonna do the thumbnail maybe I should have like shots of That's what I feel like. I feel like the little mermaid. <sighs> Why would I be holding a crystal? I don't know. I feel like it's under the sea. Under the sea. Do, 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 do. Under the sea. Do, 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 do. Maybe I would use the gold gloss. Because I think I would like that a lot better. I don't know. The gold's throwing it off. But I think the gold gloss would have been pretty. I'm gonna have to find like bubble music or like underwater sounding music for this. This is so cool. Also, what I could have done, but we were trying to do like an undercover, or like in disguise mermaid, but like you could have done like fish scale type of things or like more blue tinge on the face or something, but that would have been cool, but this is what I did. This is cool. What if I did... I did purple on top of the gold. That's cool too. I like that, but it's not perfect still. I don't know what would be perfect, okay, you guys? I'm trying, but that's it, okay? This is the end of the video. I'm leaving now, and yeah, I'll just see you next time. See you.